from TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. What's up, everybody? We're here at the opening of the 2025 Redemption Tour. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got us a new quarterback, originally opened in new receiver. Municipal Stadium with its franchise it's time, baby. We it's time. To Jacksonville and TIAA Bank Field. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are oh, yeah. ready to match up Look at that. with the Pittsburgh Steelers. 90 catching now. Let Deontay Johnson go in the preseason, or not preseason, but the offseason. He is now with the 49ers. Got George Pickens from the Chargers. Contract year, I believe, for him. Uh, it's time, baby. It's time. I hope you're excited. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and check out my other videos in the series. Here we go, baby. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Jacksonville. And no, no chance. On this no one. chance. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive down for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was mm. in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Got Hayward back. Tall, big arm, surveys the field. But he'll be playing less of a role on this team with our other defensive ends coming in and uh, taking the mantle, but he's passing it to him. We got Simpson starting this year. He started last year, but he fell apart pretty quick. Uh, just how it is sometimes, you know. We got Izzy at strong safety, Minka at free. I got C.J. Gardner Johnson down in the slot, at least to start the year to see what's up. Oh, hello. Elliot Donald starting off right. That's how we do, baby. That's how we do. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. Home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some stop right there. And the Jaguars send out their punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. That's taking it around. Got Gary Bryant rocking a new number. I think that's his number. I've been high school or I like either do I either do high school or college number. So this will be accepted as it moves Okay, here we go. We've changed offenses too, I believe. We're running the uh 49ers offense. Howard. OJ Howard's a good little pickup we got. What a way to start the year. It's fine. It's fine. After the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw. Buck. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat now, run the pressure, but that time they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Well, well, well. Two drops. I mean, that's not what you want to see right there. It's not what you want to see. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and ten. Jay Dunk starting off with the, uh, the Rams. Okay, okay. We got a new user in the league. He's with the Cardinals. 
uh, and they do not have Kyler Murray because Kyler Murray is now with the Giants. Panthers have Baker now. Uh, trying to think of any other big, big moves. DeAndre Hopkins uh, went to the Chargers to play with Mike Williams and Justin Herbert. So expect to turn around on their part, hopefully. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. We're still rocking the same Steelers D. There's no doubt. String lane starts off with Dallas this year. Okay. Feels like he starts off with them every year. Oh, come on with it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, it's funny because I was trying to highlight him. And sure enough, too. this one's going the other way. Alright. Najee's on a taking taking heads. And he's gonna take this. He's gonna uh I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> he's gonna do something this year, hopefully. Oh my God! Oh my God! My line's getting murdered. Get murdered this year, son. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It's a 46. Go down there and pop somebody. Okay, and our new user. With a new set of down. B weave. As I call him. Man, it's going to be a good year for him, baby. Heard he's good. Excited to see. Excited to see it. See here, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get pressure on Lawrence a little bit, man, because I feel like if he ever gets in a groove, he just completes, 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 completes. completes. Oh, come on! He tried to check it down to his running I got two new outside corners, too, man. I let uh, Xavier Howard walk, and he went back to the Dolphins, which is kind of funny. But I got Danzler and Caleb Farley, who was on the free agency. Like, the Falcons did not bring him back. And he was on the Falcons because former user. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jadon, I think, traded for him from the Titans. So... 
And it's funny because he ended up going to the Titans and kind of screwed himself out of getting it. Essentially. Later. Whatever I'm trying to say. But he is now on my team, thank God. We needed outside corner help. And uh, I'm not upset about it at all. The only thing I'm upset about is that pass rush attempt. I'm giving Izzy more of a role this year. I got to figure out how to get in trade more with him some of these packages. Uh, okay, there we go. You know, they, they double team TJ a lot. And it's good that we're starting to get a little bit more rush on the line from some of these younger guys. Come on, Danzler. You got to get there now. You got to get there. We got some young corners that could take your spot if you're if you're not going to be good enough. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's out wide here for Robinson. Minka Minka plays. That's all he does. Oh, my. There we go. Is that Minka again? It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Of course. Of course it was. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. On third down. Oh, there he is. He's wide open. Thank God. Thank God he didn't see. to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Green Bay putting points on the board. My former quarterback, Kenny Pickett, went there and had a 75 completion percentage. 75% completion percentage in the preseason. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I developed him a lot. He went from a 69 to like a 80. But just couldn't. Uh, oh, yeah, this is Quiz Watkins, by the way. Holding. Yeah, good job, everybody. Hmm. Right. Good job, Tom. Oh, I also got Kenneth Walker on the team. Wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Now left side on the swing pass. Three yards the gain there. Second down. We gotta get something going, right? I mean, Jesus. Three to nothing after the first quarter. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I'm looking for this baseball stadium. It's coming totally up close to this stadium. Negative 22 pass yards. What a start to the year. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. First down to Come on, boy. Go down at the he got the visor off so you can see in these motherfuckers' eyes, just like he quoted in real life recently. I'm down with it. I'm down with that idea. You're going to smother it, but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Oh! God damn it. Cover three's killing me. I, I mean. Oh. Yeah, this is not going well at all, really. But it's not really Quinn's fault, man. It's like... Ah! Oh! I'll take that. I'll take that. A little luck to change the tide. 
I'll take that. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosives. Now you're wondering, man, why the hell does he have Quinn Ewers? That's not very realistic. Well, the reason I traded for him is because the Buccaneers went with another young quarterback really high in the draft, like first, well, first, second overall pick. Uh, I don't know. Y'all might know the guy. His name is um, Arch Manning. So, yeah. That's why I went with him because I felt like, hey, man, this kid, he's not going to sit behind Arch. He's not, he's not going to do it. So, he is now my starting quarterback. And that's okay. You got to make it You got to make it shake when you're good every year and you don't get them high draft picks. That's, I mean, just is what it is. So, hope y'all don't fault me on that. Ah, you son of a biscuit. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. See if Bryant can get up here. Yep. I'll take it. I'll take it. I like it. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Now the try here for the point after. Gary Bryant to Quinn or Quinn Ewers to Gary Bryant. I like the connection. So that one Don't mind it at all, really. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. The oh, yeah. The KC Chiefs have freaking A.J. Brown now. <laughs> or no, wrong. Uh, D.K. Metcalf. The, the Patriots have A.J. Brown. So, Chiefs are going to be pretty filthy this year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess he got tired of the situation in Seattle. They find themselves trailing on the scoreboard, but it certainly hasn't been because of what they've been able to do at the receiver position. And let's face it, partner, we've been around a lot of receivers. Has it ever been their Ooh. fault when things aren't going well? We Good know point. how they operate, right? And right now what they're saying is, well, guess what? If we want to win, throw it to us even more. We're the ones making the plays. Well, yeah, do that because uh, that's my game plan. I figured y'all would have to pass a lot today. That's... My game plan Jaguars is to make to Trevor Lawrence beat drive. me every time I play him. It's been very much a slow but start for them. Three drives and just it's the worked three so far, seed. man, but he's getting better and better and better. So it might stop working one day. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. My game plan always is to knock off the other team's game plan. From and, you know, enforce my will and my game plan but sometimes it doesn't work out like that obviously line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 on the run it's robinson and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up and result of that one a nice four yard gain so you can use that to set up your play action game or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it. Oh, yeah, Stephen Tewitt retired, by the way, on here. So that's why I have some voids on the defensive line, but I've been preparing for that. I know they're both, like, 10-year vets, so that's why I've been drafting defensive linemen like I have. Now we can work on other things, which is going to be super interesting because... Secondary is next, I believe. High draft picks in the secondary. That's what I believe the next next level of development is. All I have to do really is stick some athletic middle linebackers out there, and I'm pretty sure I'm good. Obviously, I have some like super talented linebackers right now, and that's fine. But eventually, um, a lot of that money is going to kind of lean towards my offense eventually. But we'll see. It's a slow process. That's what that's what I love these. That's why I love these uh, franchises so much. I'm really going to try to bring y'all more content of the other users if I can. 
trying to figure that out right now. I'm trying to figure it out. Ooh, full back. Ben. Oh! You suck. The fullback dive held up short. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. You suck. I just want you to know that. Get it. Probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means... Come on, bitch. Chance. I'll take him. So oh, no. Who's holding <sighs> Trey Smith. Come on, bro. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Again, it's Harris on second down. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves him with 14 yards still to go on third down. Looking to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. Come on, block somebody. He'll only get this to about the 44. <sighs> Jesus Christ. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for oh, the no. And no return here. Well, Where will they spot it? They it's not just outside that the bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Oh, look at Atlanta up on New Orleans. They got Aaron Jones, which is so random, but they got Aaron Jones from uh, the Packers. Not the, I mean, he walked. He walked on the Packers. And the Packers made the playoffs last year. But, you know, I guess he wanted that bag, you know? So far, just a single catch in this game. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He wanted that bag. On Come on, boy. Ooh. That was a good play. Got Judon. Yeah, I like that. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Ooh. It's a 43-yard punt. Ooh. Return five, and Ooh. Ooh. It's here, first and ten. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and ten at their own 37. Don't mind me. Now throwing here to start the drive. Now they go screen. It's good God. And some play callers when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot. Of I got a minute 32 here. Okay. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to come through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen. But that could have been mm, 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 mm. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. I feel like Madden Next Gen is That's way better on the passing side of things. To be honest with you. Bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field. Right in the oh, no. Okay. Of vision. And QBs love to I'll make take that it. easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Well, this is an oh, tough route to Quinterford over here. <laughs> Quinn Ewers, mullet man. The so as a defender, I like it. Only trailing him the whole way. You're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Mm. And he slings one. Mm, it's mm, incomplete. Mm. giving up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Whew. Gary Bryan out here cooking, folks, son. Cooking, folks. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. 
Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Look that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get that. Money. For a Steeler Money. First carry, first touchdown. Easy money. The Steelers, they broaden their lead. So a good start to the campaign. Don't tell me why the Panthers were losing. Don't, I mean, don't ask. I mean, they drafted a hidden rookie guy. Um, so I guess that's it. But, yeah, I don't know, dude. It's all about youth in this league, I guess. And he's still, he was still sitting behind um, McCaffrey, but, I mean, I guess they wanted a different type back. I'm not sure. So, I'm glad he's with us. Oh. Gary Bryan out here on a kickoff. I wish I could edit that. I wish I could put some of these guys that are not getting any PT on that, but you can't because uh, Madden said no. Madden said no. Ooh, hello. I like uh, Johnson there, though. I like Johnson. I like CJ. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence. Hello, my name's Elliot Donald. Nice to meet you. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now Lawrence. To go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Perfect. 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 And his defense is here. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all so I'm gonna say. It's clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the TJ out here balling, son. Defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Balling. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. Balling. And you can bet mm -hmm. they're putting two hands on that. the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. Mm -hmm. A chance maybe here for them to get him right. more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. There's something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And this will be incomplete. Good Physical break up. play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Lawrence. Mm. This is caught. Mm -hmm. It's Kirk. The Jaguars now will use the last of Kurt the cooking folks out here. They stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Lawrence. He finds Robinson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final That's play over. in this first half. So we reach halftime here on Oakland. Kicking ass Orlando. and taking That's names out here, bud. South of here to Orlando. That's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Browns who have the lead late in the first half. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons looking to get off to a hot start and a road win would help them do just that. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City 
See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Chase Claypool up near 100 yards receiving with a touchdown as well. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Fighting and arrival. Fighting for survival. Stolen from Africa. Brought to America. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. I don't fuck with you. Maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just mm. handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And he'll be tackled at about the You know what time five. it is. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first run, down run, run, and it's second and four. Run the rocket. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. Mm. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard uh, up to the 36. The coverage unit out there thinking pass on third and three. They'll look to throw here. Oh, this pass broken. God, Lee. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time Piss today. Poor Piss poor punt. You're dead. We'll call that You're a 43 done. yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Oh! Okay. All right. When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. Heard all that. Yeah. So five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it a second down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's got oh some space here. God. And he's got this down to the 35. That's a love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, ah. they all say the exact same thing. Damn it. So fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Arch Manning, two touchdowns in to his first game. To the there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. This is Chenault on the receiving end. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half. And he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Right 
From the gun, Lawrence. And it's caught. Three yards the gain there, second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show Come on, get in there. On the tackling the end. How about that? That's how we're doing here, Trey. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Jaguars get a score Ooh. closer. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Ah. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this now an 11 point deficit. Following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. Taking it at about the one. Mm. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. All righty. Now the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker cover and even thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not oh necessarily. Oh, my so. God. They gave it a shot downfield. That went incomplete. And uh, this pass broken up. Uh, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminated a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. From the 24, Lawrence, and his throw is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and it's third and short. They'll run it down with Robinson, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall Take it. right around the line of scrimmage. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Walk. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. 
I'm about to old school. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it oh, with great blocking the error man. side. You know, right and in job. this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Now the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. They hand this off to Harris. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it runner, just across midfield. 54 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's got this down to the 35. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now a handoff as they run left side. And a short gain down to about the 33. Tackle made there by the UCF man, Mike Hughes. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, mm. and that gets it done in a big way as well. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, snapped at the 11. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around oh, the entire yeah. game. Quarter, baby. While they slowed them down on that run, Here we go. they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive. And that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Now play number eight on this drive. And they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Eluding the pressure right. Ah! And take this into the end zone. Damn it. Hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Damn. I was so close. Mm-mm-mm. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up. Oh the my it's no good. Close. Oh, but he misses that just sucks. left to the upright. And the score sucks. will stay right where it is. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Damn it, damn it, damn it. From the 31, Lawrence. And that is okay. incomplete. Charlie? Good job, boy. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Okay. Okay. It's intercepted. Okay. Gardner Johnson with a pick. There he goes, right side. And he brings this one. Okay. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So I like defense it. Defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Point after try forthcoming. And the lead is up to 18 now. A heck of a play there defensively, like getting it. the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Eat. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. And he'll take it down, shy of the 45 mm, at the 46. Yeah. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Finds his tight end, Ingram. A gain of six there on first. Now he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every okay, play. So yeah. Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. The defense Love rising it. to the challenge and setting him Love back it. on the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Lawrence. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. Fourth down, here's Lawrence. Okay. And it's incomplete. They can okay. convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Defense carries this one on first down. Out. But that's okay. Flag holding. Oh my God. Marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We can't have that. Oh my. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating. Up, the guys who just gave up that play. On 
on the give. This is Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Now back to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Harris going to get it again on second down. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Four yards, that gets them close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just what? a bit more importance than others? This feels like one I don't of know those, about that one, bud. To me, three points here, a major I don't know down. about that this one. time to go and put six on the board. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. They'll try and run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Fuck the Jaguars. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Steelers are looking good here in the season opener. That's all I'll say. Extend their lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, 
They've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. He caught that bitch with like one hand. Man, man, man. So this one in the what a good game. For the Pittsburgh Steelers. And really, it looked at times like they just had this one in cruise control out there. Yeah, they deserve a ton of credit because you and I both know, heck, they knew. But this is a tough place to play. Overcame that with ease. Robbed home with an easy win. And here's the best part for them. It'd be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't it? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part of it. Of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This, is, this one did any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early on. So for Pittsburgh, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Money. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Simply domination. See y'all next week.